In this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to install your Facebook Pixel and conversion API with Shopify to make sure you don't lose a single transaction and that you have the right and most accurate results on your Facebook ads. If you don't know who I am, my name is Justin and I'm the founder at Wizzle Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. So first things first, I'm going to assume that you've already made a Facebook business manager. If you haven't, I have another video talking about that, or you can also feel free to Google how to create a new business manager. What I want to focus on today is how to create a pixel and sync it properly with Shopify. So with that being said, if you've already made a pixel, you just want to learn how to sync it with Shopify, skip through that video a little bit and you'll learn how to do so. So that said, now the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the three lines at the top of your screen on the business.facebook.com. Um, then you're going to go to event manager. So you're going to click on that. Then you're going to select top right corner of the ad account that you want to create a pixel under. So for here, I'm going to select this ad account. Then I'm going to click connect data source. So from there, I'm going to go web because this is going to be a web source that we're going to connect to our pixel. Then I'm going to name this pixel with my store's name. So I can just go here. I'm going to write store name for the sake of this video. You would put your business name right there or for that matter, whatever you want you can put. So then I'm going to go create pixel. And from there, I'm going to actually have a pixel made. So then what I'm going to do is enter my website URL. If I actually don't yet have a website, you can select I don't have a website for the sake of this video. I'm going to enter my website. So now I'm going to paste my website URL right here and click check. And if this domain is already associated with your Shopify store, you're going to see a pop up that says integrate with Shopify recommended. You want to make sure that this is checked and then you're going to click next. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is do the following. So you're going to it's going to tell you connect your Shopify account to Facebook. So log into your Shopify account and follow the instruction to set up your connection with Facebook. So what I'm going to click right here is see instructions. Now, the first few things you're going to want to make sure that you've got right are those which basically Facebook is telling you to use as a checklist. First thing, make sure that your store is not password protected so that you don't have any lock screen. If, if ever you're in the building phase of your store, just for the two minutes that you're going to need to connect your pixel, just unlock your site, remove the password and you can add it back after. No worries. So you must be on the basic Shopify plan or higher. So if you're on their starter plan, what this is not going to work because their starter plan only works for selling on social channels. It doesn't work for selling on their site. So make sure you're on the basic plan. You need to have a Facebook page already created, which again, it should be hosted under your Facebook business manager. You must be the admin or at least have permissions in the Facebook business manager you're trying to connect. If you're watching this video, you probably already have that. If you don't, let's say you're watching this to integrate it with a client or with somebody else's store, make sure you get added as an admin under their business manager. And as it says right here, you need administrator's permission. So now what we're going to go do is I'm going to head over to Shopify and let's integrate it on Shopify side. So on Shopify, what you're going to do is click on the left bar right here. You're going to click on sales channel. Then from there, you're going to click app and sales channel settings. And then from there, you're going to click on Shopify app store. Once you click on there, you're going to want to search for Facebook and Instagram. This is basically an app slash a sales channel that is offered on the Shopify app store. You're going to want to click right now. It says open app because I just downloaded it. You're going to want to click on add app like this one is an example Printful, which I don't have yet on my store It's going to say add app if you don't have yet downloaded the Facebook and Instagram one. Now from there, as this is an already set up account that I'm showing you on my side, I'll walk you through the steps nonetheless on Shopify. It might look very slightly different on your side. So I'm just going to quickly go through what Facebook basically recommends that you follow as instructions. Once you've added the app to your Shopify store, you're going to have a button that tells you open app or start setup essentially. So maybe it's going to already open the screen on your side so you can start setup. If it has not automatically opened up the new app, just click open app, which is going to show up on the Shopify app store when you're on the page. So instead of seeing add app, you're now going to see open app. So once you open up the app, then you're going to be prompted with the setup. Let me show you how does that look like once it's already been set up. Nonetheless, again, your setup is going to be very similar if you have not yet done it. So once you're on the setup, it's going to first tell you to connect your business manager. So what you're going to want to do is log in on Facebook and select the business manager that under which you've created your pixel from. And once you've done that, it's also going to tell you what pixel you want to select to connect to your Shopify. So then you're going to click on the pixel name that you had just created at the beginning of this video. Once this is done, you're going to see what type of tracking you want to do. So in this case, for me, I see a button that says change. If I click on change, it would pop up an option for me to select different levels of conversions. Always pick the highest one. 
because that will ensure that you match your purchasers with as much data as possible being sent back to Facebook. Therefore, that allows for the most accurate information shared between the two platforms. Once this is done, it will also ask you to connect your Facebook and Instagram account. In this case, I've already connected mine on that pixel. In your case, you would want to select your Facebook page and whichever Instagram account under which you would advertise. Now, one big caveat that I want to introduce in this video that is technically not in the topic, but I think it's relevant is this checkout method. Some of you guys are going to see a prompt that tells you to upgrade your checkout. Not everybody watching this video is going to see that. This is only available to specific stores, especially in the US first, where essentially what's going to happen now is if you're used to going on Instagram or going on Facebook and you see product catalog or you see a Instagram or Facebook shop, right? You can scroll through products available within that store. Now, what's going to happen is instead of scrolling, clicking on a product and getting redirected to Shopify, you can now check out on Facebook and Instagram directly. Facebook now released kind of the Facebook checkout platform, which some of you guys might be eligible for. If you want to set this up, you can click on upgrade checkout right here and do the checkout process for this, like the checkout setup process for this. I personally don't recommend you do it right right now because we noticed the customer experience to be honestly so so when it comes to the checkout on Facebook. I'd rather you keep control over the checkout experience on your own website. If ever you'd want to do it, you just have to click the upgrade checkout button that you see right here. Now, once you're done with the setup on the Shopify side, you're going to see here on the sales channel now, a new sales channel called Facebook and Instagram. You can pin it if you want to have easy access to it or click on sales channel and go and search it back. And then from there, if ever you want to change the Facebook page, change the business manager, change the pixel that is connected to your store, you would just have to go back to settings right here and change this information. Now, a couple of things to double check before we head back to Facebook. First, if you click on the sales channel, you go to overview, make sure that on the right product status is approved. Make sure that most of your products, if not all, are going to be approved to be running on Facebook. Also, make sure that you can see whichever catalog is synced to Facebook so that you would know if you were to make a catalog ad on Facebook, you would know which catalog to pick because you might have already had an older catalog on your business manager. But if you have a fresh new BM, then this is not something to worry about. So that said, make sure that this says approved. And here at the bottom, make sure that this says active so that you're now ready to run ads on Facebook and Instagram. If it doesn't says active, then there is something you have not properly done in the setup. You want to go back to settings and make sure to double check everything that we've went through in this video. And here, if some of the products says not approved, um, it don't worry. It might happen for various reasons. Sometimes Facebook might disapprove products because they go against their policies. Sometimes they think it goes against their policies. What you can do is either resync your catalog, which that is a topic for a separate video, or you could also update your product pages with information that wouldn't be going against Facebook's terms of services. Now, if I head back to Facebook, what I would do from there is click on I've completed the setup on Shopify and click next. Then from there, what I would do is paste my website URL right here and send test traffic. So then what this is going to do, it's going to make sure that your pixel is indeed active. Once again, if we go back to the page from earlier and this says at the bottom that it's active, that you can actually run ads on Facebook and Instagram, you're probably not going to have any problem with this. So going back right here, you're going to click send test traffic. Once this is done, you click next and then you're going to confirm. That's it. Your setup is fully done. Facebook used to require you to set up manual aggregated events and do some of the manual setup, which you don't have to do anymore. There's one more step for us to go through, which I'll walk you through right now. Now, the last thing you're going to want to do is head over to settings in your pixel, scroll down, find automatic website matching, make sure it's turned on. And then you're going to have a little toggle here right below that. Open this toggle, make sure each and every one of these is turned on. That will allow Facebook to receive these events back from Shopify and match them on their platform to make sure that again, they can have the most accurate tracking and find these people back on Facebook. And the last toggle you're going to want to make sure is on is this next one track events automatically without code. Also make sure this is on, which again will allow for just further accurate tracking. And with that being said, this is how to create a new pixel from start to finish with your Shopify store on Facebook. With that being said, there's going to be two links for you to check out in the description down below. One is our free PCAD community. It's again, completely free of charge. You have access to a full comprehensive mini course on e-commerce, paid advertising and ad creatives on TikTok and Meta. Same thing also for e-commerce economics. So check this out down below. And if you're an e-commerce brand owner watching this video, wanting to work 
with an agency to produce all of your paid advertising creatives and run your ads. Also check out the description down below, booking a call with our team. On that note, make sure you check out other videos of the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.